everyone, welcome back to my channel and another taste test. Today I'm going to eat jampong ramen, bukyong jampong. First, I'm going to boil 550 ml of water and for 5 minutes. Here's how it looks from the inside and we got two seasoning packages inside. After the water has boiled, put the noodles inside. Then we shall throw away the unneeded ones, leaving two seasoning packages behind. Yes, this is from Otugi brand, Korean brand, but it's Beijing Jampong, spicy seafood noodles. So the seasonings are similar to the last one. It's powder and flakes, and it's done. Move it into a bowl. I've never eaten jampong before, but I always see it in Korean TV shows like uh, Running Man and Today's One Night. So I'm excited to taste it. Although I don't really like seafood as you all know, but I'm still gonna try it. And it's all done now, mixed well, really nice visual. Hello everyone, welcome back to another taste test. Today I'm going to eat Bukyong Jampong. Spicy seafood ramen from Otugi brand, Korea, which has deep taste to it. Not sure if I will like it, but I will try from one spoon. Mm. It actually tastes like seaweed. Soup. Spicy seaweed soup. Tastes nice and it actually has some seaweed. Yeah, small seaweed. Next with some noodles. How should I show this? The durian is nice. It's way better than the jajangmyeon one. Don't know. Maybe it's been a long time since I drank ramen soup. It does taste good. I'm not disappointed and I am not disliking it because it's seaweed. Let's go. It's been one minute and I can't eat as fast as I can with other noodles because this is with soup. Let me show you. This all still left from one minute and uh, usually it's only like a bit. But it's really tasty. I really, really, really like this compared to the jajang, bukyong jajang.
contrary to my expectation, this isn't fishy, doesn't smell fishy. Because I really hate seafood because they smell fishy and when I ate it, all the fishy smell spreads in my mouth. But this one, it has none of it. I really recommend you to try it. It's all done. I really liked it, but not at the end because all the flakes are left there, and the flakes contains seaweed for sure, and I think some onion, maybe some carrot, and maybe some ebi. And when you only eat the flakes, it's not that great, but. Overall, it was satisfying. It's winter here now and my body is really cold at times and eating this in winter, that would be perfect. And for the ratings, I will give these 8, eight from 10 stars. And I really don't know why this is Beijing Jambong. I never ate any Jambong in China, though I'm studying here. And I didn't know that Jambong is one of Chinese, maybe Chinese traditional food, original food. Like, I know Jajangmyeon. Jajangmyeon is traditional from China, but not this one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Whatever I make, please like and subscribe. Goodbye!